I just feel like anywhere that offers takeaway coffee should offer mints to have up. Hello. Hey. Hi. Present. Oh, thanks, mate. And? Hey. <laughs> uh, hey, 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 hey. I only use ethically sourced keep cups, so can you vouch for the sustainability? Have you washed? You've got an aroma. Well, I didn't have time to shower, but I put on plenty of my trusty pine spruce oh, and don't do that. birch. Oh, I my... smell like a rainforest. Hmm. How was the athletics carnival? Oh, I didn't make it in the end. What? You never missed those things? Yeah, I know, but I had a really tough birth and I'd been with the mum for 10 hours straight, so I just wanted to make sure she was OK. Oh, mm, was she? Yeah, yeah, she was fine. I checked on her this morning, but I just, I feel really bad about not showing up. Hey, you had to work. It's mm. fine. Yeah. Oh, shit. What? Nicola McGinty. And she got gold, and she got gold, gold, gold. Silver, that was a team one, so not your fault, was it, babe? She put the rosters together. She is going to be furious that I didn't show up. Nicola and Anthony McGinty. Such assholes. Bullies. Did you hear about the fate? Yeah. No, oh. tell. So a few of the usual suspects rocked up at 6 a.m. to set up the stage and the stalls and everything. She rocks in at 9 a.m. with a piccolo almond fucking latte <laughs> and just starts barking orders at everyone like she's Gordon fucking Ramsay. All right, well, how about this? Last month when I was helping to cater that dad's night, mm. Mr McGinty over there just keeps poking his head into the kitchen, calling me the little woman. Oh, little woman all right in there in the kitchen? Little woman need a hand chopping anything up? Little woman need an apron? He's it's not funny. <laughs> sort of is. Sleeveless puffer, pink pastel polo wearing motherfucker. <laughs> hey, gang. Hi. Hey. Hello, Dave. Hey. Nice keep cups. Yeah, thanks. So, hey, Sam and I missed you at the athletics carnival the other day. Oh, yeah, I had to stay back at work. And I had to stay back mm. at home mm. in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bugger. What? She spotted me. Let her intimidate you. Just, you're not scared of a McGinty. You're right. Just because I'm at primary school doesn't mean I'm in primary school. Yes. Then why am I even? Yeah. Look, if that's if that's a breach, um, I should probably come in. Hi, Nicola. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm really well. Thank you so much. How are you? Lizzie's just on the phone. At work again. Yeah. And she had a very difficult birth the other night. She had to stay back late. Oh, no. So. Hope you don't miss my call. <laughs> <Is there? laughs> oh, I'm switching to Samsung. Oh, that this happened the other day. Bullshit. Yeah, happened when you called me time. as well. So how's everything going for the uh, fundraiser? I'm guessing you mean our Spring has Sprung event? Yes. That's it. it. Yeah, because that's the theme. Of the fundraiser, yes, that's right. Well, you know, lots of people are putting their names down, which is great, but now I just have to hope they all bother to actually show up. Speaking of not bothering, Athletics Carnival. Lizzie. Nicola, I am I am really sorry, OK? I, just, I had to stay back at work. Mm, it's pretty irresponsible. Like, I put the roster together myself. Yeah, it was just In a tough... Excel. And if I had have known that you wouldn't fulfil your obligation, then I could have reallocated our resources. I'm really sorry, Nicola. Did, did you have to fill in for me? No, no, I didn't go. But Katie told me, you just... Uh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. You didn't bother to show up for an event that you organised... In Excel. ..and yet you're having a go at Lizzie. OK, if you must know, I was having a splashback crisis, but I did my part. Lizzie neglected a responsibility she had to the school. And, and to the children. Children? Oh. Chil yeah, children. Speaking of children, Lizzie's a midwife and midwife shit got real. Thank you for illuminating the situation. Sam. Sam. OK, Lizzie, this is a community. And what you did, like, no offence, but it's just rude. No offence? That's you like the what? definition of a fen... Um, Nicola. I think you might be overlooking the possibility that we can't always fulfil the duties we commit to on a daily basis. You know, you're a working mum, you understand? Lizzie's work often involves situations that are literally life and death. Yeah, and I'm just saying that we all have responsibilities. Oh, exactly. I mean, exactly. Lizzie's first responsibility yesterday 
was to bring an actual life into the world. And sure, she did have to make the decision to let you down. No, it's not that she did. Nicola, your passion for what you do around here does not go unnoticed. No, Everyone notices. Not. The whole school, it's You're hard amazing. not to notice. Know. But sometimes our passion can cloud our vision mm. a but little bit. No, no, it's great. It's really great. We just have to work on expanding our perspectives, you know? Think about the other people, empathy. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. You know, like, I didn't mean to, like, sorry. That, that's OK, that's, that's fine. And I, I really hope everything's OK with your splashback. Oh, thank you. No, it's, it's really been a saga, actually, just with the tiles and the stone and the, and the acrylic and pressed metal. It's like Sophie's choice. It's just been killing me. I thought splashback meant something else. Look, I was at the um, Athletics Carnival yesterday, and I just wanted to say, your daughter was amazing. Oh, she really was, so far. Yeah. yeah, well, she's been putting in some extra training after school and on the weekends, so it's obviously paid off. Natural ability would have stood her in good stead, though. I'm sorry? Well, I'm not even sure you should be putting her in runners, to be honest. She, she, they might be slowing her down. Are you suggesting that because my daughter is of African descent... No, 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 he is not implying that at all. Really? because I think that warrants a formal complaint. No, 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 don't. It's just, Dave is just a bit, you know. A big, big believer in barefoot running. Yes. He grew up in the outback. Oh, no, so I, I grew up in, in long reach, you don't have to keep banging on about it, Dave. And he even started a petition last year to hold a barefoot athletics carnival here at the school. Like the ancient Olympics. But less nude. Right. Okay. Well, I'll see you all later then, yeah? Bye. Bye. The ancient Olympics. Barefoot run. Did I? It's a pretty good idea. Is it, Dave? Did I really gun for that? Uh, did you? Did I? No! Oh, thank God, I thought I was coming on a bit early onset. Honestly, I think a bit of early onset would be sweet relief for you and for us. <laughs> but thank you though, for stepping in with Nicola. Honestly, I thought she was about to harvest my skin for her splashback. No probs. It places the lotion in the basket. For you. Oh. Really? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Still those McGinty's, right? What a couple of cunts. <laughs> Thank you.